KBR potassium bromide, in this instance, is what we call a molten compound. What's that mean? Well, it's melted. Simple as that. Normally ionic compounds are solid at room temperature, but it's not a solid, so therefore it must not be at room temperature. In order to have a molten ionic compound, therefore liquid state, this reaction is done at very high temperature. Well, why is it at a high temperature? One, you have to be high enough to melt the particular ionic compound involved. Secondly, and more importantly, the reason this is done is we want to keep water out of the loop. If we want to produce pure potassium, pure potassium metal, we can't do it if water is around because water is a stronger oxidizing agent than potassium ion and on anything else in group one for that matter. So just, just be wary of that if you notice that the state of matter is liquid, then just don't add water. Most times we're always harping on add water because it's an aqueous solution. Well, this is not aqueous, so don't add water. Simple as that. And my only two entities then are potassium and bromide, and therefore my only two available OAs and RAs. And that's it. You can still treat, even though they're liquid state, you can still use your redox table in the same way. And as it mentions down here in this note, is we're dealing with molten substances we would need inert electrodes to make this cell operate.